Hey, hey there, everyone. Bruce Ward's here. We got some rain in the house. <laughs> yep. Coming in by the ceiling, by the fan. Torrential rain sideways. This is Mons Wolf or Mons Wolfi in the Apennine Mountains. Isn't that an interesting area? We see it now without the filter. Again, we're in the Apennine Mountains, okay? They're talking like ten to 12,000 feet just underneath the size or the height, sorry, of uh, the highest mountain here on Earth, Everest. So we're seeing there upright that white long elongated line that's coming out of the surface or stretching out over the surface that you can see there at the top in the far ground. We're right in the Apennine Mountains. Um, how about this beautiful blue spot that's just at the bottom of Copernicus Crater? There are, uh, this is one of two spots. You can see the other one a bit there. Some amazing um, close up images. It's all images in this video, guys and gals, and you're gonna appreciate it. And uh, yeah, the weekend's coming, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna get some videos up, like I always do. Been bi really busy this week, guys. Um, a lot going on with a few family members and stuff, giving some of my family some help. And uh, we're doing good. And uh, you know, I come here and I see, look at that green crater. I see you guys so supportive, amazing comments, which I am way beyond overdue. Tomorrow, I'll be spending a good part of the day answering all of your amazing comments back. This is that blue spot at the bottom of Copernicus. We're gonna see some very strange and close shots of some beautiful, beautiful clear color surface. Thanks for watching everyone. Mare Imbrium, this is where they said, supposedly, Apollo 11 would have landed top left there. So what's pretty cool is that we're seeing a lot of the elevation. We're seeing some, a lot of the different textures, hues of the surface, right? The terrain has so many different colors. And I was looking up these cold craters on the moon. It doesn't necessarily mean the one I showed you beside Copernicus is one, but they say that they change colors depending on their temperature and uh, day for day. And so in other words, when that sun comes up in the morning, while well, the crater goes back to the same color as the surface. This is pretty interesting. And um, it's extremely cold like thermal frost before the end of the night and then uh, uh, before uh, before the morning that is and in the morning well of course you see this um, color come back to its gray position which is pretty interesting Could there be any shorelines or rivers and lakes on the surface of the moon? Could it be possible? Who knows? I know there's a lot of greenery. You can see um, Kepler over on the left right there, Aristarchus Crater to the top right, Copernicus Crater in the bottom right there that we can see. And between those three, Kepler, Copernicus, and Aristarchus Crater, 
there's always a lot of colors, smokes and hazes that we can see on the surface. So trying to get some uh, low angle shots of the surface to be able to see the colors around Kepler Crater. And Kepler is so gray, right? Well, look at all the blues just beside it. And look at the lines, the way the blue is sort of, it cuts off and starts and ends right there in a straight line, just at the end of Copernicus. The blues around Copernicus Crater is crazy, around Kepler, sorry. This is Copernicus in the center, Kepler over top. Again, spots there, blue spots, look a lot like water, doesn't it? We'll never know, probably. Maybe frozen water, who knows? And yeah, along the Terminator line is what I like to show. And look at that, the elevation that we can see because of the ter Terminator line. And um, what is the Terminator line? Just that line of darkness and light where they meet as that line progresses through the moon phase across the moon. And this is what we can see. All this amazing elevation. We just saw Copernicus Crater. It's like, you know, white, right? But it isn't. Oh, what's that? A triangle or triangular uh, object of some sort. We're going to see it in a couple of different angles uh, here in the next few frames. Some really nice stuff on the surface and some nice secrets. that always there. Maybe a wing, right? Some uh, airplane or UFO wing or the tail of a Boeing there buried in the snow. Who knows? <laughs> Thanks for watching. A triangle or shadow, triangular shadow is just the bottom right there. You can see Eratosthenes crater at the end of the Apennine Mountains. Top Copernicus, bottom Eratosthenes crater, and there's a deep blue crevice filled with blue colors all around a part of the crater. Bombo Genesis, that's what they said. Big cyclone storms, low uh, depressions. It's pretty bad here in Canada. Got water coming in my house, but hey, all is good. And um, many people are a lot worse off than we are here in Canada. So be safe, everyone. I'll get another video up right after this. This is my mailing address.